Well, Indiana's new coronavirus case numbers are trending down, and that is encouraging tonight. There you see the graph on your screen. The positivity rate is now at 4.7%. The demand for testing is going down across the state, also encouraging. Tonight, we are taking a much deeper look at why. Fox 59's Kelly Rinke has more. I do think that they will ebb and flow a little bit. Statewide, the average number of COVID-19 tests is declining. The trend is similar for case counts and the seven-day positivity rate. I think people listen to our advice. They're still wearing their masks. They're still practicing social distancing. The Johnson County Health Department recently cut back on staffing at their testing site because of the decrease in demand. So we will continue to offer the services, like I said, that we are currently offering. On January 11th, the average number of COVID-19 tests reported in Indiana was just over 45,000. Almost a month later, the average dropped by more than 8,500 tests. The reason testing is coming down down is likely because infections have come down. The seven-day positivity rate is at 4.7 percent right now, according to the state dashboard. It has not been this low since September. If the testing were to go down and positivity were to go up, then we would sort of sound the alarm bell that we need to be doing more testing to find those missing cases, if you will, in the population. A break for now, but Brian Dixon at the Regan Streif Institute anticipates we will see a surge in the spring. As counties have fewer restrictions or keep fewer restrictions in place and kind of open things back up to normal levels, people may come out uh, then and transmission may occur. In Indianapolis, I'm Kelly Rinke, Fox 59 News.